This is Twit. What I'm going to be doing is using uh, Konica Minolta CS200, which is a what's called a colorimeter, and it measures the colors coming off the screen and tells us how accurate they are, whether they're, they are what they are supposed to be. Now, Robert, you brought along a different uh, meter that we're going to also check out. Totally. Uh, from X-Rite, their i1 Pro model. It is a great portable device that actually does on-screen contact to take measurements. Whereas with the CS200, it's more of like a camcorder where you can shoot from a distance, which makes it great for doing things like projection setup or even doing HDTVs too, because it's such an accurate device. And it's a uh, very consistent in terms of its readings, and it's fast. That's one of its big advantages is that it's fast, but I'm interested in comparing what the i1 Pro uh, measures as compared to the CS200 because we're in uncharted territory here. This is true. The OLED TV, we don't exactly know what the spectral power distribution is of red, green, and blue. And I've seen that with, with the person who provided my hardware, they do provide updates specific for different display types, uh, firmware upgrades for the devices themselves, the right. measurement tools. So I'll be curious to see if this handles it properly Properly compared to say just a traditional LCD or a plasma display. Exactly. So we should explain briefly what OLED is. This okay. is a new technology, a new flat panel technology that has been promised to us for years. We've seen it at CES and we've seen Samsung and uh, LG and Panasonic and Sony all saying, oh, it's coming, it's right around the bend. And that was years and years of that. <laughs> totally. I think one of the things really, if you could think of what would be the most ideal display technology, OLED really comes close because it's super thin, yeah, paper thin, literally. Literally. In addition, it's, it's also very bright. They can make them very, very bright. But when it goes dark, when it creates a black portion on the screen or when it creates dark detail, it can be as inky dark as any other technology out there. And uh, you, in particular, it rivals CRT, those old, big, massive boxes that we all used to have. No flat panel technology has achieved that level of blackness until now with OLED. Totally. And it gets rid of some of the, the image problems that you've had with things like LCD technology, where you had off-axis angle issues, where if you, you move to the side of the screen and suddenly the image would brighten or you'd lose contrast, and or colors would start to shift. Exactly. With this, not so much. Not so much. Now, that's a good thing because in particular, for some reason, Samsung and LG, the two companies that have now made OLED or OLED screens that are available to purchase, have made them curved, which... <sighs> I, I want to say they're trying to temper, temper the reaction or temper the desire for these screens because they're not able to produce a lot of them yet. Uh, they, are, they have all announced and shown demos of flat panel televisions, uh, OLED screens in particular, and larger screens at that. So. I expect at CES we'll see some flat OLEDs definitely being announced in terms of coming to coming to market, but this one's curved and And so is the LG. It is.